I think the best definition of iceberg right now in this moment is iceberg is an open standard for tables, uh, you know, large scale, big data tables, uh, the kind that we're all used to working with. Um, but crucially, uh, it is with SQL behavior. Um, I think that one of the biggest stumbling blocks for the big data um, ecosystem and movement in the last decade has been that we accidentally compromised SQL behavior a long time ago and never really restored it. Um, and, and that's why we've had such a you know, deeply hard time working with data, building reliable pipelines, and, and actually doing things that are important for companies. Um, so the central idea behind Iceberg, if I was to, to sum it up, uh, is, is really that what if we applied data engineer, like database fundamentals to this table problem? What would that look like? Um, it looks remarkably like <laughs> uh, what we had in 1992. Um, it's, it's tables that work as an abstraction. So you don't have to care about what's underneath the table, and you really shouldn't care about what's underneath the table. Um, so what we're, we're really saying is that to most users, to consumers, Iceberg should be um, almost completely invisible. Yes, it dictates a lot of capabilities, but when was the last time you went to Postgres or uh, you know, some other <laughs> similar database like MySQL and, and you cared deeply about whether you were using MyISAM or uh, the other one, right? I can't even name it. <laughs> Um, so you, you really care about the capabilities as a whole, but you don't want to care about the minute details. Um, if you do, then you're a DBA, and we don't want everyone to be DBAs anymore. So Iceberg has sort of this philosophical principle of it should be invisible, and that really comes out in two ways. Um, we don't want unpleasant surprises. Um, unpleasant surprises are things like, you make a simple change to your table, and then you've corrupted all of your data for all time and have to clean it up. That's a pretty unpleasant surprise. Um, the second one is a little more subtle. Um, it's not correct, you know, we shouldn't have correctness bugs, but it is, uh, we don't want to steal people's attention. And I think this is really the fundamental place where um, we've failed in the last 10 years, uh, making it so that you had to care very deeply about things like, you know, file layouts and uh, the, the capabilities, how large this table is going to be in three years when you create the table and you're just trying to get everything up and running. 